normal people, you guys can come. Mm -hmm. That's right. Day. That's why right. the people's elbow. The people's that's elbow. right, man. That's for right. everyone. Right. Is Mon Dragon really your sister? That's my sister. For real? <laughs> Move mm -hmm. here, yeah, and then this one, yeah, it's restriction here, up to right there. I'm just trying to catch my breath. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Catching my breath, <laughs> letting it go. <laughs> no, Ed, not like that. All right. There we go. So good, crack. I've gone to the neurologist and all that stuff, and they've done like all types of exams. They say everything is fine. Yes, so I went to a TMJ for my jaw. Yes. He told me that my jaw is actually like double the size of a regular person. So I guess I must be sleeping okay. with like clenching my jaw okay. very much. And then I did Botox like up here and stuff yes, like that. It really didn't. It worked for like a couple of weeks and then it faded away. Okay. Do you, do you find yourself grinding your teeth throughout the day? Do you ever? No. No, just... Never. I've never knew I grind my teeth. Do you think never. you grind at night? Do no. You, no. I, I, I don't feel like I do. So for every inch that your head goes forward, there's a lot of muscular, constantly, you said earlier, tension. So tension is postural. And when we're dealing with headaches, when you're... First, let me ask more. How often do you have headaches? Do you have a headache right Every now? day. Do you have a headache right yes. now? Yes. And that's been going on for how long? Um, good part of two, two and a half, three years. Okay. Do you, do, you, do you have any injury that sort of brought it on? Did your work change at all that brought it on? It just sort of came out? Just started. Of I've always had sinus issues. Okay. So I've had uh, sinus headaches. And in the beginning, I thought they were sinus related. Okay. I did sinus surgery like 13 years ago. Interesting. And um, it relieved a lot. And then the doctor told me it wasn't going to last forever. And eventually, throughout time, I thought it was sinus. But as the headaches are so consistent, they, it, it feels like it's just pressure because it's all like built up. They're connected. So the sinuses drain down your neck. The muscles in the neck, the tighter they get, they crimp the drain lines. So sinus issues 13 years ago and the tension you're having now are connected. They're one and the same, I would say. So the tightness of the muscles produces a lot of lactic acid. That lactic acid is inflammation. There's an overlap in the spinal cord between the nerves that come in from your neck and the nerves that go to your face. So it's an overlap pain, sort of like if I have electricity going down one cable, okay. some of that electricity can jump between the cables. So more complicated, maybe you don't know if everybody wants all this information. The, a headache is actually a referral pain. When you have nerve endings in your neck that are irritated or inflammation in your neck, that signal comes in your spinal cord and goes up your brain. In the spinal cord, there's the track that the nerves that go to your face come from and they, those happen to be in close proximity TMI. And so that's what causes the headache. And um, so we want to reduce any soreness in the neck that's causing that overlap in the spinal cord. From what I'm seeing, it's postural. So with the head forward constantly, the muscles are like an engine. It's, it's idling at 4,000 RPMs. And so you have a lot of exhaust being produced. So I'm going to try to turn down the idle screw. <laughs> Let's try to get the head back, teach you how to, how do I change my posture? Yeah. How do we do it safely, which involves making sure all the bones are limber, you don't want to take a spine where it's only bending in one spot and have you stretch because then you can get hurt. Bend both the knees for me. All right, let me cross this arm under. Over. Take a deep breath in. Head back for me. Bend all the air out. Head down. Right back. Beautiful. Deep breath in. I know. Head back. Let it go. Deep breath in. One more. Let it go. Let it go. Good. All right, very good. Deep breath in. Exhale and twist. We're just stretching. This arm right here. Exhale. Okay, good. All right, good. That's it for me. Got that. Breathe. Exhale. Good. Exhale. There you go. Good. Face up. Very good. Face up. Let me feel here first. One second. Relax your neck. Wow. See, <laughs> I was going to say relax your neck. It is relaxed, Ed. So there's just constant <laughs> contraction in here. You know, Ed, I am relaxed. And Extremely. Yeah. Well, the neck is still tight, you know, and so this is, this is why it's important to have your neck evaluated laying down because we take gravity out of the equation. So we have some level of guarding up here also and postural contraction. So some of this tightness is still lingering. Okay. Right, Atlas. 
axis, about midline. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. I got your head. Just this top guy a little bit. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. It's a good crack. Uh -huh. There we go, right there. there go. All right, good. Give me one second. How do I feel? You all right? Yeah. Okay. So, when we adjust the joints in your upper neck, it causes a reflexive relaxation to any muscle that is controlled that by is that controlled, nerve. Okay? Correct. So that's part of what, I don't want to say the magic, but it's part of what happens when you adjust someone. There's a re reflex, just like if I you know, checked your patellar reflex, right? You mm -hmm. hit the patellar tendon and your leg kicks out. You can't right. stop it. It just happens. So a reflex that relaxes these muscles happens when you adjust the joint. The second thing of why we're adjusting the joint is to make the surface of the joint fluidic and soft and supple so that we can work on the posture. Tell me about your work. Are you, are you work? Um I work actually, I mean, I run a business, so I'm on, the, always on the, go. on the go. So like I'll be on the computer for a bit, then I got to like mm -hmm. check on the warehouse and I'm always moving, moving around, honestly. Okay. I don't sit for too long. And every time your chin comes down, this is going to get aggravated. It probably, I probably do it, and right. it's funny because I'm always on my kids about it. Right. But it's it's tough. I'm just the first way to solve a problem is to be shown it. Correct. <laughs> right. So, you know, to it, admit you have one. Right. Well, to admit you have right. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, this is tough with you know, obviously bringing the phone up. You know, not looking down at your phone. It can. I go to Disney World and everybody in line at the rides. Yes. <laughs> with their necks down. With their necks down. How does that make you feel? Well, job security. <laughs> <laughs> They're all going to be at some office at some point and. It's, it's tough because our, our world is becoming more and more inundated with time rounded and that makes these problems escalate. We're trying to get the soreness out of here, uh, we're going to go off shot in a second, but right here for that knot, that's a good reason for why you have headaches is, is that I guy. feed it. Yeah. Wow. And it's in dissipating there. that, yeah. Yeah, I've always felt, like even my shoulders, I've always felt, even when I stand, mm. my shoulders always tend to come forward as well. Right. Well, that's part of the whole rounded forward complex. The, the ligaments are these rubber bands that define your posture, and the ones on the back, through years of time, become more stretched out than the front ones, which become contracted, essentially. And so... That's what holds you in that position. That's what holds you forward. The most rewarding thing for me is guiding people through into correction and then... Because that, that lasts yeah, long term. Yeah, and then you can tell your friends and then you, you change someone's life. That's, that's, yes, re that's a rewarding. Absolutely. It's rewarding, but... Absolutely. You know, competing with an Advil bottle, gee whiz, <laughs> oh, good boy. Oh. oh, good, you made me feel better for a couple hours, thanks. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. I need you again next week. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, I mean, to some degree, yes, you have to keep brushing your teeth, but it shouldn't have... It should be about equipping the patient with tools to help themselves instead of me trying to be your arbiter of spinal health the rest of your life <laughs> yeah, you know you right. educating them so right. they can help themselves you can well. brush your own teeth yeah and, and guide people i like necks like this there's no hair in the way oh, geez. <laughs> perfect I shaved, I shaved just for you perfect man it's perfect you can see right where the problems are real easy sometimes you hide people's hairlines and no no i did it just for you perfect thank you all right it's, you look good but yeah, it's real obvious for the viewers when they're watching. Yeah, this is so. Just cleaning out this acidity is the first step. The second step is to reduce the amount of tension in the area so it doesn't just reaccumulate back up again. And that's we're at the end of our visit. We're going to be stretching, and then we're going to I'm going to send you home with a dental roll. So just like an orthodontist will put braces on your teeth and try to move your teeth into well, effectively move your teeth into a different position. You have to put a retainer in to prevent your teeth from just going right back to where they were. In the same way, there are orthotics that are, act as if they're spinal retainers. They hold your spine in. So it doesn't go back to the... Right. Uh, You're retaining position. the right position, and it makes it last longer. Obviously, you still need to try to not tuck your chin down so much. You want to reduce the things that are taking it out of alignment and put in things that help restore the alignment. I'm going to work on this sitting in a second. We're going to work on that guy. Okay. Part of why I can't bring your head back, when, I, when you were standing and I looked at you from the side, the 
excessive kyphosis here is going to you're going to run into that as we're bringing your head back and so to effectively bring your head back the care can't simply be on your neck only you have to work on the upper back and chest to free that up to allow room to bring your head back into it so this has to go down to allow your head to drop back into it and so let's say your head's an inch and a half forward. You can get maybe a half inch back without moving the chest, but if you want that head to go all the way back an inch and a half, this, has to, this has to move. Medically, we call this coupled motion. I don't see your x-rays, but I, I mean, I think somebody was just trying to, I don't know, impress you or be happy. Yeah. <laughs> your jaws are big, but I'm not sure if the second, <laughs> second of the... <laughs> I mean, that's not really a great thing. <laughs> I don't know. They're big, but I wouldn't say they're the biggest jaws I've ever worked on. I mean, TMJ is large. I mean, I feel what they're saying, but... They oversold me. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody was being a little... <laughs> <laughs> I don't... <laughs> You know, you're not Jay Leno. No. You know, Jay, Jay Leno, yeah, that's a pretty big job. That's a huge job. Yeah, but. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm glad they've checked for all the scary things. Yeah. You're left with the me stuff. Yeah. You're left with. I mean, it gives um, you peace of mind well, the, for that aspect, you know? That wasn't that many scrapes. I mean, it comes out real quick. So, how quickly the mark comes out also signifies how much is in there. Kind of like running a. Of class. lactic acid buildup and stuff. Yeah. It, Sometimes if it's if it's not very much, it takes a lot of work to draw something out. But when this one lot, just popped right out. Barely, I barely touched you, and it's getting black. It's really oh. So that signifies the level of buildup. I could do that myself. Yes, right? yeah, it's yeah. not proprietary to me. You shouldn't. You know, this is the idea is that if we get the neck adjusted, should I work on it laying down, or can I do a sitting? Up? Sitting is fine. Yeah, I mean, yeah. your might, wife will help you. Or, you know, probably sitting, probably in order to do it yourself, but. Put my kids to work. Sure. <laughs> my point is that if we can get the curve in your neck and get you adjusted, you won't. The, the need to do that is not there. Your need to gua sha yourself will reduce, as the tension won't be there. There won't be so much lactic acid. And, all right. All right. end of it there. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. There it is, nice. Oh, there it is. That side got good. There we go. Normal people, you guys can come here. Mm -hmm. That's right. Day. That's why the people's elbow. The people's That's elbow. right, man. That's for everyone. Yes, yes. Yeah, Carl, see this right here. Is Mon Dragon ready your sister? That's my sister. For real? <laughs> for real, yeah. You were both trained by my father. We're both, that's why we work as similar. It's all came from Bo. You know what's crazy? Like, I have either something on my shoulders or shoulder blades. Like, yes. if you see my back, Correct. I can reach up here with this. Yes. And then in my right. Right. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Move here. Yeah. And then this one. Yeah, it's restricted here. Up to right there. Yeah. Well, That's all she does. Oh. So at the end, we'll, we'll check that again. And we're done. But part of that is that your shoulder is more forward on the side, so your ability to retract to get your arm up is high. So it's going to involve also stretching the pec. the pec here, so that your shoulder can retract back and. We'll You know, the mouse hand, <laughs> you know, this is the <laughs> side that the shoulder, you know, when you're doing computer work, make sure your shoulder's not extended forward. Yeah, where do you go? It's okay if I lay back on your back? Is yeah, yeah. Lay back on your back forward. Have any injury to the shoulder? Do you think there was any reason you said it's been as long as you can remember? Yeah, as long as I can remember, it's been mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We call that internal rotation. Even like mm -hmm. before, like years ago when I was in better shape and I did CrossFit and stuff like that, I always had that same issue. Even when I would stretch consistently and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the more I stretched, the better it got, but my left was always way more agile than my mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm.
remember when I did CrossFit after like like big sessions and stuff like that, we used to like roll our thighs and stuff like that to remove mm-hmm. all the lactic acid. Mm-hmm. And I remember that wasn't fun, but I only ever really did it on my legs. I never really thought it was like mm-hmm. necessary or that it would build up in other places of your body, like mm-hmm. your neck and stuff. So range of motion has to do with the surface of the joint and the ligaments. So in order to clean the joint, we're going to put you through range of motion, but there's also mechanical work you can do on the joint to actually free up some of the adhesions that are in the joint. This is how we're going to, there you go, all right, not too bad. There you go, you want to work all these angles to draw the shoulder back, does that make sense? Yes. You know, you want to, it's like a like a clock we're going to work on. Now I just need one of these tables. Well, <laughs> we can do it on the floor by putting yeah, a yeah. roller behind your back. We're going to effectively do it, but you can, put, you can relax that arm. When I started working out, I started like to realize that I was like, man, I can't even like scratch my back with this arm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so part of it is you can't retract your scapula back if the vertebrae in your upper back are popped up. So let me look at this real quick. And it was your right arm, right? The yes. right arm. Mm-hmm. So in terms of the slope, actually the left side is more popped up. It's all this left side here. You definitely have a wobble in the wheel. So. Well, that that might be since I had left knee surgery. Uh huh. And then, for the past couple months, my right foot's been acting up, uh-huh. so I feel like I've been leaning a lot on my left. Gotcha. Okay, that's going to definitely raise the left side, for sure. It's going to, essentially, you're going to be tilting. When you yeah. on your left side, you're going to, you, you stand on your left leg. Yeah, that's me. That's me. Up yeah. More. That's for, that's been going on for like three months or so. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So it can be just functional, maybe just the... You know, you said you had knee surgery and then what you stand differently after it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go. Keep breathing. There you go. That people's up was serious. Oh, <laughs> man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, wow, oh, right there. Yeah, I know. I feel it. He's doing good. Is he? <laughs> I thought he would be dying already. I am. He is. His left side is rough. Yeah. Mm. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I'm just trying to catch my breath. Mm-hmm. Catching my breath. <laughs> letting it go. <laughs> no, Ed. Not like that. All right? Similar, but... Right. <laughs> If anybody ever says your core is weak, I don't think they have felt your back. <laughs> you have plenty of strength here. Strength is not your problem. It's alignment and flexibility, mobility, suppleness that's the problem. It's not. It's like a carrot that you always can blame somebody. You're just not strong enough. Your back's just too weak. You need to be strong. And then once you're stronger, then you're still not strong enough. It's, it's like this perpetual monster that you. Yeah, if you're just, just a little bit stronger, it's just 10% stronger, then your back won't hurt. I don't subscribe to this idea. I, the alignment, the mobility is what brings your spine health, not power and strength. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I'm just curious how it looks like. Yeah, yeah it's level now. This side's going to be more right there. That's what's the shoulder blade. Mm-hmm. Right 
That one is brutal. Yeah, so to me is an injury on the right, and then the left lower back pain you're experiencing actually is from here. This crunch, whatever you want to call this old girlfriend. <laughs> you know, no. <laughs> some, you know, some old, right there, that doesn't exist. On that Over side? Here. Yeah. No, definitely. It doesn't exist, there's a nice wound right there. Mm. I mean, I did a lot of bad things when I was younger, like carrying-wise and weight-wise and mm -hmm. stuff like that, so... You okay? You okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. For my life. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Take break. Take break. I'm gonna catch your breath. Catch your breath. After the elbow, the like, gosh, oh, it feels so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it yeah. feels amazing. It's like, no, some people get scared of this. I'm like, no, no, you should, <laughs> you should so, definitely fear the elbow. That's a relief. Yeah. <laughs> You're not fearing the right thing. <laughs> Please, yes, go back to the cone. Mm -hmm. Comb is very similar to me, like a hairbrush. You're trying to comb the tissue to organize the tissue as much as you can to the way it used to be before it got injured. Do you want to check your shoulder again, Sam? I'm sorry. Right. going to wake up tomorrow and feel like mm -hmm. yeah. steamroller. Yeah, uh -huh. Ten rounds of Tyson. <laughs> mm -hmm. Feel it. Relax, relax your arm now. Let me feel it. Yeah, it's definitely more joint because yes. you can't do it. Let me see the other arm one second. I just want to feel. Uh huh. Yeah, you can bring it up even just relaxing it. Your arm comes up yeah. higher. And this arm, I run into a wall. Mm -hmm. Where the wall is? Yeah, I think it's here. It's up in the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't retract back. <laughs> When I do this motion, this doesn't pull back. And you do feel it, put mm -hmm. it back on the other one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That right here, this bump right here. It stays there. That has to, you know, come back to allow your range of motion to bring your arm up. You know, it's really just stretching. There's ligaments here on the front, right in here. Either you know, time or more rounded forward with your right shoulder. This contraction here prevents your arm from being able to come back as far. So. When we're stretching your back in a minute, to me, you'll notice this might be more difficult on the right, and that's 
leveling that out will allow you to bring your arm back more. As high as you can, okay, right about there. Go ahead and do the other arm. Uh-huh. A little better. But yeah, we got at least about you know, four inches, three, four inches difference in terms of the height. It's the glenohumeral joint. This has to draw back. There's adhesions in there, glue in your shoulder joint. Probably like years of buildup, I guess. Yeah, I would. Put the hand on the hip here for me. stretching to me it's not so much this all this tissue here has to unglue to allow your shoulder to come back home. a little gentle here go ahead and tilt your head to the right a little bit there we go a little bit okay go ahead and tilt your head there we go it's my wife's favorite uh, go ahead and tilt your head left a little bit bottom side but tilt not much I got you here we go Okay. Oh. Nice, there you go. There you go, nice. But just so your head, sometimes I take my hand and I'll press it on my forehead to get my head to sink into it. Like a piece of clay, you know, okay. to a mold. Once it sinks in for a few seconds, then you put your hand back down and then just relax your arm. And over time, your head's going to sink into this. Doing this as many times throughout the day. The first checkpoint is 20 times for 20 minutes. This is the first kind of goal that I'm going to have with you. Ed, I still have headaches. How many times do you do it? I did it about five times. I didn't say five times. I said 20, 20 minutes. So you want like a 400 minute. Is like the Essentially. Stage. But it's got to be. Yeah. So 20 In minutes you've reached maximum benefit. So people ask me, should I do 40 minutes on it? And not so much. You can, but you've reached about 98% benefit after 20 minutes. Is this so, like two back or it's... You're good. No, you're perfect. You want it daily or a couple times Every a time. Day? I mean, it's minimum once a day. The idea is if you did it twice a day, it'd be 10 days, right? right. To get to 20 times. If you did it three times, it'd be one week. You got to do it for 20, 20 minute sessions is my first goal with you. So this is what I mean by room to grow into. Yeah. <laughs> your hands need to be on the floor. And that's, that's part of what's going on with your shoulder is your shoulder doesn't want to retract back. And it just takes time. And it, like all the angles on a clock, you're gonna work all these angles. You could, you know, be over here. Does that make sense? Yeah. You know, you'll find some angle. Yeah, even there. You, right, right about there, actually. <laughs> your, this right arm doesn't want to come back as far as that left one. Yeah, this one's touching. That that's part of retracting wow. your scapula. You got to get that. <laughs> you got it. Yeah. yeah. This one's flat on the front. Right. You got to. <laughs> Step on it! No, you gotta take a stretch. You don't. You hurt you. You understand? You gotta, you gotta take time, and you have to beat this up, and then stretch that. That's where the restriction is. It's not so much at noon. I mean, it is here too, but they're not too much asymmetry. As there is here. It's right around this corner area that you have the most asymmetry, wow. and it's just that's where the restriction is. There's different fibers coming in different directions. So where the scar tissue is is not in every fiber. It's just in that kind of angled fiber here. Is where you're when you're trying to bring your arm back. You know, you're, I can't even if I try. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Just don't. It's Eventually not. Eventually, the stretching correct. will help. With yes, sir. This. It takes. It's, it's not a race. It's a rally. Sometimes stirring it up makes things a little more upset. As it as the mark goes away, you might feel better. You know, don't. It's like a stock market. You can't you can't zoom in too far. <laughs> you got to zoom out and look at the trend. <laughs> you know, if you're zoomed in too much, but as you stir it up, it might wake up. As the mark goes away, head, wow, it's all gone. And then to keep it from rebuilding back up again requires the stretching so it doesn't just reaccumulate back up again. Good to go. All righty. Right. Thank, Thank you for dropping. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.